I'm Dr. Hal Gunn, CEO of Q Biologics, and I'd like to tell you a, a little bit more about site-specific immunomodulation, the novel approach to stimulating our body's own immune system that we're developing for the treatment of autoimmune disease and cancer. There's a growing recognition called the hygiene hypothesis that we might be living in too sterile a world, that infection, acute infection, helps to stimulate our immune system. And over the last 100 years, as the incidence of acute infection has decreased, the incidence of cancer and autoimmune disease has increased because we're not stimulating our innate, innate immune system enough. At Q Biologics, what we've discovered is that the innate immune system responds in a site-specific way to acute infection. So what we're able to do is simulate acute infection without causing acute infection. By simulating acute infection, SSI therapy reboots the body's innate immune system in the organ or tissue uh, in which uh, we're targeting. So for example, in Crohn's disease, targeting the gastrointestinal tract. The way Crohn's disease has historically been treated is by trying to suppress the body's adaptive immune response with prednisone, Remicade, and other treatments that suppress uh, the immune response. The way that SSIs work, site-specific immunomodulation, is by rebooting the body's innate immune system and essentially trying to get macrophages to do what they naturally do which is clearing dead and dying cells, which is the underlying trigger for autoimmune disease. We're excited about its potential because in the small number of patients we've treated to date, in the 10 patients we've treated to date, a significant portion of those patients are in sustained remission after stopping all treatment, including SSI therapy. And so we think SSI therapy might have the potential because it removes the underlying trigger for autoimmune disease it might have the potential to create sustained remission, which would be a, a very promising advance. Now, we've only treated 10 patients, with a, which is a very small number, but we've just begun a larger trial in Crohn's disease, and we're excited about it, exploring its potential in this larger trial. So if you or anybody you know has Crohn's disease and would be interested in being in the trial, we welcome you to, uh, to join the trial and uh, you can find out more information by looking at our trial website, qcronestrial.com.